This is Mason and Brooke's Science Fair project, 2016. Mason's in kindergarten, and Brooke is in second grade. This is a Potosaurus. These are where he lived in Western North America and Europe. Velociraptor only lived in Mongolia. Hercerlophus only lived in Western North America. Tyrannosaurus rex. Oh, as well lived in Western North America. And Triceratops lived in Western North America. And Triceratops, I mean Stegosaurus, weighed 10,000 pounds. A Potosaurus weighed 60,000 pounds or more. And Velociraptor weighed as much as a medium-sized dog or turkey. And Parasaurolophus weighed 7,000 pounds. T-Rex weighed 14,000 pounds. And Triceratops weighed 15,000 pounds. And Stegosaurus lived in the Jurassic period about 150 million years ago. Apatosaurus lived in the Jurassic period about 50 million, 150 million years ago. Velociraptor lived in the Cretaceous period about 70 million years ago. Parasaurolophus lived in the Cretaceous period about 70 million years ago. And Tyrannosaurus rex lived in the Cretaceous as well about 70 million years ago. And Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous about 70 million years ago. Yeah, what did you learn? Um, I learned about their names, their protection. They go through eat the plant, and if they're herbivores, this one's going to have for checking with this. Because when a oak you're fighting on it, you can whip it. And they can, he can get that. Whip it with what? Whip it with his tail. And these are spikes. Do you know what these are called? Plates. Good job. And they're not like the plates we eat off of. If you eat off of them, it would be disgusting. A pot of flowers. Name of you can call him a whip tail. Well, he eats herba. He eats plants. That means he eats herbivores. Patasaurus can can fight with this and this. He can like go over. And this one can go like, I'm walking, I'm walking, whoop. And his feet, he can stop. A velociraptor, he eats meat. That means he has carnivores. Velociraptor, he has sharp teeth, a killing claw, and he only stands on, he only walks on two feet. And uh, he can run away from other dinosaurs because they can eat him, he is meat. He can, he eats eggs, uh, baby dinosaurs. He has sharp claws. Duckbill, now you can call him Parasaurolophus. And he eats plants, so he is a herbivore. Parasaurolophus. He can, if you want this to be called his weapon, he can run away and he can Google at this to know where the other ones are and where they are. And if and so I correct. He eats meat. 
that he's the carnivore. In Triumph for Threat, at sharp, this one has sharp teeth, front, weak front claw, on legs, strong back legs, sharp claws, sharp fingernails, and a triceratop. He's a plant eater, so he's a herbivore. Cool. Now triceratop. It can it can bite with this, and this can protect his neck from a T-Rex bite in his neck, and. Uh, and done. An interesting fact about him, he had a brain the size of a cat's or the size of a golf ball. Autosaurus, an interesting fact about him is that scientists think it took him 10 years to grow full size. Apatosaurus had the same size head as a horse. Interesting fact about the Velociraptor is that it had a killing claw on each toe that never touched the ground. Scientists think his eyes were so big because um, he was active at night and his brain is really big. This is Parasaurolophus. They are not related to ducks. T-Rex, an interesting fact about him is that he could eat 200 pounds of meat in one bite. Um, a 12 inch T-Rex tooth was the biggest tooth ever found. This is Stegosaurus, I mean tri Triceratops, and an interesting fact about him is that he was one of the last dinosaurs who ever lived in the Cretaceous period. There was a dinosaur they found in China. The full grown dinosaur was about this tall and its name has 73, I mean 23 letters in it and its name is Micropachycephalosaurus. So, tell me about this guy. Could he walk in the mud? No. Why He's not? He's too strong that he can sink. And he can get stuck. Because he's too strong? Yeah. Even in the water. Really? Is it because he's too strong, Brooke? Yep. Yeah. I mean, he weighs a lot. Because he weighs he's too heavy. And uh, his back would go over our ceiling. It would be so huge. If he wasn't yeah. here, he would be huge, yeah. What part did you like make? Which part of the board did you like I, to make? I like coloring the dinosaurs. Yeah. What was your favorite part, Brad? I like making the Mesozoic era. I hope you enjoyed our dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era. That's how we got first place. Both of you got first place? <laughs> You guys did a good job. I'm proud of you too. High fives.